Yep. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's go. Hello, and welcome to The Journeyman. Last this time you said Pink Buzz Flake. This is our second, <laughs> is our second take. Did you say Pink Buzz Flake? It's our second flake, is it? It's our second right. flake, yeah. Oh, I just said Pink Flake, actually. Oh, good, uh, Pink you. Flake, and welcome to The Journeyman. This is Route 1. Today I'm joined by Liam McGuinn on my left hand side. Oh, Should be on the right. Okay, yeah, and uh, Sean Fidjameen, Thatcherist and multi star. Yeah. On my right. Perfect. T- there was Premier League last night. And there's Premier League tonight. And? There's Premier, Premier League every day. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, exists, it's, it's, it's it exists a perennial as an time. entity. Anyway. Do you believe that yesterday, today and tomorrow are linear? I think they are. I think time I is a watching, construct. I started watching that Dark on Netflix. <laughs> And the idea is that the other grass Tyson? No, it's just really good. It's German. Okay. Uh, it's a German <laughs> show. Anyway, yeah. back to the football. All uh, the TV shows are available. The Lab Brooks. You slag. <laughs> you slag. So again. Burnley in the top four. Uh, it's a bit baffling how they've won nine games out of 16 or well, 17. But they were very good in the 80s. So it's kind of back to the 1880s. But they're, you know, it's back to the roots. Almost, you go. You yeah. know? Uh, but yeah, they've been. Absolutely excellent all season. And the, I'm very pleased with him. Sean Dyche is a very likable guy. They're the Kings that won nil, I think, is what you might say. Is, 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 is that what you would say? Is that what you would say? No, quite Arsenal, no, 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 but I mean, they're not the resources that Arsenal had to win one nil every game, but. Yeah. But they, like, I mean. Yeah, James Tarkowski and, and uh, Tony Adams, one the same. Yeah. Uh, no, but they've been really solid all season. Mm. You know, they, they didn't play great football. But, no, you know, but it's very... Yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. I like, I like Tarkovsky. He surprised me, as I've mentioned before. So, Tarkovsky, if you're watching. Uh, ben May's pretty good at football. Uh, I mean, didn't yeah, play last night. Didn't play last night. Do you know who's Ben? Who's uh, ben? Kevin Long. Jesus Christ. Former Fox City. Jesus Christ. They, they do seem to have a plethora of players that just play better than they should. They're kind of like Ireland. Yeah, like Dean Murney's still in this squad. Steve Moore is really No way, is he? I'm yeah. almost certain Dean Murney's still in this squad. I think he is. He's been injured for about three years. But, but he's still in the contract. But the fact that he's still getting... Like Scott Arfield, Canada's best footballer. Yeah. Would, you say, would you say Scott Arfield's best footballer? I'd say, I'd say Ian Hume is probably still better than him. What do you say? Uh, junior Hoyle, is Junior Hoyle better? Yeah. Well, yeah, Junior Hoyle would be. Well, who's playing the Premier League then? Yeah, you know no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah true, true. true. So Paul Star Terry. Oh. Who's Canada's best footballer of all time? Tom Krasinski? Simeon Jackson. Yeah. Simeon Jackson? Simeon Jackson. Yeah, that's a good shout, actually. I'm sorry, Simeon Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> for it, anyway. like for chilling, um. Come on back to Burn- I'm sorry, Come back to Burnley. Burnley. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Simeon Would Jackson. you say that? <laughs> right, take it from the show. You're going to Real. Simeon Jackson's from fucking Canada, not yeah. Drimna, you stupid saying, cunt. You're yeah. from Drimna. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, anyway. sorry, sorry that you just don't produce bangers. Yeah. Like Simeon Jackson. Or you, you do produce some bangers too, in fairness. Sh has a next day. Would you say Burnley strikers, right? They seem to all be kind of working on the right. off topic, but okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Burnley strikers. You know, they're all kind of one the same. They're big, working big on the right kind of strikers. Big burly strike. lumps. Yeah. Big burly, burly lumps. lumps. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the least <laughs> analytical thing um, we've ever done. No, okay, let's get analytical. Oh, all right. right, so yes, they've got Chris Wood. They've got Sam Bogues. That's why the Chris And Ashley Bogues, Barnes. That's why the Ashley Barnes is. They've got Austria's, they, Austria's best, best striker. striker. <laughs> <laughs> They must be on the 20s, yeah. which is but odd. But they, they all seem to chip in when they're needed. Like, uh, yeah. I was surprised by the Chris, Chris Wood. Quiz Wood. Wood signing. A um, lot of money. Because it was a lot of money. But it For was a something, similar player. Yeah. They, I thought, because it's, it's not Andre Gray like yeah, exactly. It's you the know, most yeah. different striker you can get. Yeah, it's like Sam Bogues like, like for like nearly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah you're like, that, he, they, he went full on into, you know, big man up top. Mm. Got rid of Andre Gray for 18 mil, which yeah, is which great. Yeah, which is great. Yeah, which yeah. But then he Hashtag did, you know, burn them all. <laughs> he learned from his mistakes. Yeah. Did he? Shouldn't have I mean, bad. I don't know. He I mean, he, he's, he's, signed for, he's signed for a club now that has Elton John as not only a club president, yeah. but have a, has a stand named after. That's true, actually. Maybe and get so the one for season ticket in Step Into Christmas. Anyway. Step Into Christmas, it doesn't get a league and watch yourself forever and ever. Okay, we're just going to bring it back in. Just want to talk about football. Can you give us this book? Last night was up in particular against Stoke. Last minute winner. Well, 89 minutes. Who's counting? But Stoke are in real trouble. Stoke are starting to get into a bit of trouble. Yeah, I think they'll be okay. I think I think they will be okay. They've got the quality of player. Um, and they've got the know-how how to survive. I, I think they'll be they'll be twelfth or thirteenth coming into the yeah, season. I think it's and they're I still th- not in massive trouble. Yeah, you yeah. know, they're they're not in the right. top. I think three. it's high time that they like might start 
like actually trying to start Peter Crouch. Yeah, because yeah, Crouch makes a difference every time. Yeah, and he makes a difference every time he plays. For see them. to the Roach. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, like Berahino is awful. Is awful. Yeah, but yeah. Like, see, like, he's, he's moved, yeah, exactly. he's moved away from Berahino, <laughs> and he's gone for. Well, he's playing Mane there on June for the yeah. right wing back. Yeah, and Ch- the Chiefs man has played a front of He's got a few yeah. goals. Be fair That's good. He's not bad, but he's All not right. your. Yeah, you and know. Soby. Whoever, I'm going to ask you this question. Wherever they got him from. I'm yeah. going to ask you this question. Hey, I'm going to ask you this question, and I'm going to ask you with the use of this pen. Okay. Okay. Are Stoke going to keep Mark Hughes, or is he gone? Forever? No, no he'll go eventually. Um, we season? all perish eventually, that's life. Uh, will he be gone by the end of the season? Yeah. No, he'll go in the summer. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was, well, like He won't be there for this time next year, but I'm not sure whether... It will, depends. Does he last the season, yes or no? I, I, think, I, think, I think January might. Depends on how well they, they do in December. You know, that's, that's the big time. That's when it's sink or swim. It's sink or swim time. This this time of year, this is where you can pick up points. Yeah. You can lose a lot Sharks of points. Come out yeah. to play. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. We got snakes in the grass too. And moving away from a team that's moving down towards a team that's moving up, we've got Palace out of the relegation zone for the first time this season. Yeah, uh, you know, good, good turnaround. Sorry for interrupting you slightly there. No, it's so okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. That's going to be on my conscience for a long time. I'm going to say, uh, Palace have been good recently. They should uh, have six points. In they the last should six. have won uh, at the weekend. Where Christian Benteke ripped the ball from Milivojevic, he didn't really, but uh, from Milivojevic, uh, who is an excellent player, Benteke scored all four of his. It's it, a great penalty goal. in the first game. Um, yeah, uh, he scored in the game. Benteke won the glory, took an awful penalty. Did you see Hodgson's interview after, where he goes, um, Benteke's missed three penalties in the last year, and Hodgson goes, it's four. He's <laughs> so funny. Oh, that's amazing. It's so funny. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're going mental on the bench. He hasn't scored in 15 games, actually. Never. He hasn't scored since April. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, um, yeah. I remember at the start of the season, you know, do you remember when Frank De Boer was their manager? Yeah. Oh, and I, really? I um, and I was <laughs> like, I was like, he's going to play a four-three-three. I reckon Benteke is going to get a lot of goals this year. There's a reason why I don't play fantasy Premier League, yeah. and that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Benteke hasn't got any, and you said a lot. It's the exact opposite. Exactly. It's, oh, that's your point. Hence why, that's your hence point. Why, that's yeah. your point. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but Palace on a roll now, and I do think they'll keep on. Truck and move it. I, I think they'll stay up. I think Wilfred's a high. And they do, they do have a lot of quality. I mean, that team is, I mean, you've got players like, you don't even talk about them. Oh, goodbye. Mamadou Sako, I know he went off injured, but he's, a, he's an excellent defender. Um, even solid players. Scott Dan is a really solid Premier League uh, centre back. Speroni, maybe a bit dodgy yeah. past it, but fine. But I, I, he's much better than Wayne Ellis. Yeah. Pro- yeah. yeah. Um, you know, even like Martin Kelly, Joe Wood, just solid players. Yeah, yeah. Tanger Panthers. Sur- and then, and they surround, you know, like, well, Genuine stars like Wilfred well, Zaha, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then you've got players and, that and, can, um, can Lee, turn it on. Lee, what's his name? Lee, yeah, Lee Chung. Yeah. Lee Chung Young. Yeah. Chungers. 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 Chungers, they call him Chungers. in his Chungers. native, Chungers. wherever he's from. Yeah, but they've got um, players that can just turn it on. Uh, and then, adversely, the Watford are in a bit of a downward spiral. Like, I mean, they've kind of, the, the yeah, wheels, they've think, come off. Can I ask you this? I wanted to ask you this. I think, um, they're, I think they're, they're, they're the wheels have come off. The wheels have come off. They're, they're losing games left, right, and centre. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think they can afford got, to. Yeah, but I mean, they're not going to get relegated. But I don't think. I think top half is is going to be a struggle for them. I wanted to ask you this, Shane. Since the first day I met you, I'm genuinely saying okay. this till now. Do you think the Andre Silva to Everton saga has affected their form? Well, considering Andre Silva plays for AC Milan, so that's what, what do I mean? Marco, Marco Silva. Silva. Marco um, Silva. I do a little bit. I, I'd yeah. say he probably wanted the Everton job mm. somewhere. I think he did because he said yeah. it's up to the clubs. I mean, that's usually like mm. usually he wouldn't. That's usually a be just. Um, so I'd but say. I don't, I don't think he was. A, I don't think he was that. I wouldn't imagine he was too too fussed either way. He could probably go in the summer. Mm. Do, do, I, I think do, yes. I'm a little a quick fix. Eighteen month contract though. Uh, do you think uh, Etienne Capou, the um, you know little rumours about his infidelity, that's affected them? No. There are none. Yeah, made that. Uh, <laughs> um, I think. Well, Etienne, I don't sue me, Etienne. I'm sorry, <laughs> Etienne. It was so a sorry. joke. I was talking about another Etienne uh, Capou, so you can't prove it. We're talking wrong. about Watford. Are we? Yeah, they've been unf- unfortunate that they've had two red cards in the last two games, and they've lost both of the games. Is that unfortunate? I mean, the first red, one definitely was. Yeah. The Ziggler oh, one. I, well, I didn't think it was red. Oh, yeah. oh it's one of Yeah, just dive two feet off the ground yeah. and someone, yeah. Two foot yeah. attackers are yeah. overrated, unless they actually hurt a player. It's, it's overrated. Who rates them? Who goes. You've got to fucking rate that. That's a nine. Rate that. No, those are red, so. 
But like even no, though no, no. He, it was a red. Okay. Even though Cleverly was sent off, they still should have seen that game out. They only had two minutes to I see it. I didn't see his red card. But I, I didn't either. But it was uh, it, it was it was understand it was under it was understandable why he two, was sent two off. Two two variants on the others. Yeah. yeah. So. And and then, you know what I thought was weird, what I thought was really weird was that um, for uh, the second for the second offer, MacArthur's gone. Yeah. Uh, Zaha was bodying up like he was just facing up two Watford players and he just gives it gives it because he's a very skillful player yeah, he giving is. it the beans giving it the beans and then just went straight down the line and Firmina for Firmina you know the, the right the right back yeah. just got done in yeah. and then about a minute Same and point. then a minute later just went yeah, actually you know what I, I've done me hamstring just walk straight off the pitch <laughs> just get as that's pretty funny. <laughs> so like they just kept on going back to him, walking down the tunnel, and obviously the tunnel in Southwest Park isn't like halfway yeah, through the yeah, stand; it's, it's all the way down yeah, the corner, the, the opposite corner. <laughs> so he's just walking Maybe he's down just the like, pitch. Yeah. It reminded me. It reminded me of Tim Clancy in a fucking friendly last season against Pats for Bray. Just walk straight off the pitch do after you, he made a mistake. Do you remember Barry Clancy? Barry Clancy played for Shells. Yeah, I did. Got sent off okay. in 2011. Um, okay, okay, football. okay. We're gonna get back to real football. Um, and Bullshit we're gonna decision. We're gonna talk. Leo, no, Leo was Leo was dressed as a banana. Shut up. That's not real. Football. Shut up. I will. Shut football. up. Shut up. We're gonna talk. Dan is just sitting here in the bar. Just so you guys know. <laughs> We're Dan, Dan is just gonna very briefly, wildly. very briefly about the most insignificant game last night. Oh, Do you want us to start singing about Simi and Jackson can I, again? Can I make a point? I forgot to wish Dan happy birthday last week. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dan. Okay, mm. okay. We're talking about very briefly about the. Angry, uh, doesn't he? He's angry. Listen, yeah. you English. Why haven't you put IS down there? That's, that's, that's the Islamic state. That's 15. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did say Ramadan Toby. So right. right. <laughs> the most insignificant game last night was definitely yeah. Huddersfield and Chelsea, so we're going to very briefly. Let's about skip it. it. Let's skip it. Let's talk no. about tomorrow. Okay, alright, we'll talk great about tomorrow. Chelsea won. Great goal from Departure at the very end and of the match. It made no difference. It's not even starting about Rick. 14 minutes in okay. well, depth analysis <laughs> analyses <laughs> anyway uh, you just moved the table you absolutely do you see Huddersfield uh, Chelsea fans were chanting Champions of England you've never seen that yeah. Huddersfield who won it for the first time 39 years before uh, yeah but yeah. then you've got to realise that they'll never sing that, again they'll never sing it again that was kind of the context to it Any- <laughs> That's me being you. you. Can we have a bit Herbert of professionalism? Yeah. You absolute and utter we're, D-bag. If we're professionals, such, we could. Right. Okay, yeah. Newcastle Everton. That's Newcastle smart. are yeah. looking over their shoulder a bit. They've gone into free fall. Newcastle Everton is like a classic Premier League clash. Yeah. You know, it's it's staple yeah. of the Premier League. Um, they're on opposite ends of, Four. you know, Everton are on the way up. Got a good point at Anfield. Two uh, good wins before that. At the weekend, two good wins. Big Sam seems to transform them. Defensively, they're... A million times better. John Joe Kenny, really impressive at the weekend. I thought he was super. Yeah, he was, he was really good. Um, like, if that derby happens two or three weeks before Allardyce took over, I think it would be four or five. Yeah. Honestly, and I think, would think it would be. And I think New Assel. Um, they were poor at the weekend. Been affected by what's off the field. They haven't got the squad. The squad is amongst the poorest in the Premier exactly. League. Exactly. You're hoping, well, if you're a Newcastle fan, you're hoping that that takeover happens before January so that they can come in, they can go in and get the money. Yeah. You know, we laugh. I don't know. Right. I mean, it's a little face. M- moving so on funny. to uh, another London derby for West Ham, <laughs> and I think this would have been a free hit for West Ham had uh, Palace not won yesterday. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. They, I know they, what you mean. Yeah, they've gotten three points they didn't expect. They're only they're level with West Brom. A- but and you said uh, in a previous video, you said West Ham will one hundred percent only have one point for the first. I didn't say that. I said if they lose, it didn't happen, did it? No. Um, and yeah, Arsenal are very beatable. Very, very beatable. beatable. They weren't great at the weekend. weren't great against United. I, I, I West think West Ham been good. They've been, the yeah. last two games have been really good. Yeah, I think West Ham a draw would be a very viable result. Could be a result that happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of three possible <laughs> results, you might say. <laughs> Just quickly, Newcastle Everton, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, I think Everton will win 1 0. I think 1 0. Pinch on. 2 1 Everton. All, right, All of my predictions will be 2 1 uh, on this show. Okay, so West Ham Arsenal. Tom is like West Ham Arsenal. What are you thinking? 2 uh, 1. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm not swayed. I, I, I'm going to go 1 1 all. Uh, but yeah, Arnautovic as well looks like a different oh, player. A completely different player. Um, Great you know, finish. He's got a shift in, which he should be doing anyway. But yeah, he, he looks excellent. Uh, Antonio has been running his Soft. proverbials off. Yep. Uh, proverbial what? Uh, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on. City made a fourteen out of fourteen at the weekend. No, they didn't. You just you just put down Swansea City there. Yeah. That's yeah. just one That's team. That's what I said. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. Really. It's one okay. team. But Shane. City made a fourteen out of fourteen at the weekend. What City? Yeah. 
Stop being pernickety. You know what city I'm talking about. Oh, what city? All right, Man City. There. Oh, Happy oh, Man City. Right. Right. Yeah. So they're a city full of men. Is there yeah. any chance that they won't make a 15 out of 15 tonight? There's a chance, but I think they'll win. Um, I think it'll be another... Def- all the backs against I the mean, 2-1 one has been their result over the last I month. Think this one will be 2-0. 2-1, which has predicted a lot. But I think, yeah, I think City might put on a, a bit of a performance, I think. Um, Teams have been effective at frustrating them, if not holding them. Like, that's the one uh, thing. But Paul the, prob- the problem is, like, looking at Swansea's defence here... They're, yeah, they're, 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 not, they're not set up to do that. But I wouldn't have said West Ham were able to do that either, and they did a good that's job. That's true. Well, well, I look at West Ham's defence, and, I'm, I'm, like, the players in it are a bit better than the yeah. Van der Horn and... Alfie Mawson's alright yeah. but um, Alfie Mawson is alright I've, I've been disappointed by this one because I, I really like Paul Clement yeah I think they're I, in big I trouble. really like him but they're just yeah big win at the weekend just very, yeah, so this is another win. free hit for them like they they have no pressure really yeah. score some goal for Swansea and, and it's still I'd like to point out it's still a disgrace he's wearing as number two that is sick actually, that, actually I can't watch I want him to go down because of that I'm still annoed that Schneidlin was bad and that's yeah you're you're in the left you're in the left left the number nine there yeah Take it. Get, he just wants to be like Lonzo. Yeah, maybe. Right. I don't think that's it. Moving on. I don't think that's it. Moving on. Top four. Liverpool have the chance to go back into the top four. Have to win yeah. against West Brom. West Brom, bad result at the weekend. They've gotten three draws before that. Yeah, West Brom, I, I, I've lost the, the knack to win. Yeah. yeah. They haven't been bad, but um, they haven't been able to win at all. They, There's so many draws. Yeah. Um, and that's, again, this issue, is... Issue is constantly goals for and with West Brom for God knows how long. You need you need Solomon Rondon to be yeah. a little shit house against that Liverpool defense. It's the only way you're gonna get. So anyway, lump it up to the big man and see what you can get. Will on we him. see Liverpool celebrating with the fans again after a two? That's draws? not what happened. I, no, I well, still don't get that. No, it isn't. They they thank the fans because they stayed to the ninety six minute. Anyway, but so can I say West Brom? If they're gonna get something tonight, have to take the chances. They'll get chances. They'll get yeah. Uh, against against maybe two or three chances. Yeah. Take your chances. You remember the chance. But also Mo Salah, if he take chances. That was chances. literally that was that was probably the chance, worst bit chance. of punditry I've ever heard in my life. Just take Have a chance. You heard chance? Uh, no, but uh, chance take win chance win chance. Shoot the shoot the kick it. Uh, do the shoot do the shoot shoot the kick kick into the goalie wall <laughs> and winny winny. Uh, if Salah scores, he'll be the quickest player in Philadelphia to twenty goals since. It's in, been incredible. Years. His goal the weekend was yeah. sublime, and I. I this form good, good football, good football. This form, like, he pretty, didn't he's pretty good at pushing players from Curacao, no I think. No I think he's... Anyway, the last game we're going to preview... He is good at pushing players from Curacao, that's how he got the space. If no. I was a Premier League footballer, that would be my go-to meal. Dan, can you just play Sound of Silence over my face now and I'll be like this? Just put that in the editing. Sweet, he'll do it. Okay. Uh, um, we're going to go into the last game that we're going to preview, because he yeah. wasn't insignificant. United... <laughs> <laughs> He's just putting Gucci gang over your oh, face. Oh, that's okay. Oh, just you, just take that. looking out into the distance. You know, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Can more we it. focus? Yeah. Yeah. No. Right. Focus, if we focus, Gucci. if we focus, right? What do you? Th- what score do you think Swansea, Swansea, and City? Are going Two 0 to City. Two one City. Three 0 City. Liverpool West Brom. I think three one Liverpool. Five 0 It's gonna be a big one. Two one. Danny Pings. Two. West Brom. Oh, no, it's gonna be two. Two one Liverpool against West Brom is a bit of a staple, actually. But uh, yeah. the move. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. Um, I do what you said. All right, United. The bomb, the bomb, in- the fake bomb derby. They call it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you bummer. Oh, it's going to be alive. <laughs> Shout out to those security guards that left the face. How do you early? leave? I was like, have you got everything? Keys, farm. Let's but check the inventory. The oh, we had 10 bombs. Oh, there's only nine left. Oh, that's grand. Oh, that's grand. That's grand. grand. You know. Anyway, um, uh, yeah. yeah, United have to win if there's any semblance. They have to. Race, but I think it's done anyway. Bounce back. Yeah. From, I, I think, uh, tough result the weekend. Yeah. I think it'll be a shaky performance, but United will win. I don't. Do, you, do you think James Wilson will play? I hope so. He's better than Lukaku. So. I don't think he's play. I don't think he's been in the squad oh, all season. Really so really I would be delighted to see Lukaku drop for this game, though. He, like uh, him getting banned, I was. I said to Shane, um, it was over Messenger. We're friends. Facebook Messenger. We, we had a little chat, uh, football related, for just to uh, prepare for the Talk show. About the um, and I said, honestly, it could be the best thing to happen to United if Manchester United. Not, not, ah, yes. not hardly poor. Um, yeah. Lukaku getting banned. It could be. Like because yeah. he's just been so poor. Who, who I understand the Marino doesn't want to drop him. They spent so much money on him and he's just trusting that he'll get through 
this the spell Baron and score. Spell. But, but he scored the best the, thing is to take... The, the thing is, he scored twice in this spell as well, which is it's not great. It's like, not, uh, yeah. It's she not just like, hasn't played well, is it? Yeah, just, yeah if, if the ball bounces off you and it goes in, a lot of times that'll spur us for yeah. it to go on. And, mm. and yeah, through, but it but hasn't gone with him, so. it's, it's his general play, so it's not just his, his... He's not taking his chances, but... Well, like, look at the weekend. Like, the first goal for City wasn't his fault. I'm it's not the, saying He no. could have done a bit better for him. He could have done a bit better, but he's not a defender. The second one was his fault. The second one obviously was And he should have finished that at the end. But what I was annoyed about, and it's what always I've had the gripe with him, is mm. that he I've hasn't scored. the gripe with him. <laughs> okay, I'm Jamaican now. Um, he hasn't scored in any big game for United. You can't say the gripe. I've had a gripe. Sorry. Okay, I'm fine. sorry. Yeah. Sorry. It's the gripe. <laughs> it's the gripe. It's the gripe. He's gonna get you. Wait for wait for the new uh, the new feature on the journey with the gripe with Shane O'Brien. There's, there's a new villain in town. It's, it's the gripe. <laughs> it's the gripe. It's just it's him. Uh, it's him. Just okay, <laughs> okay. Can I make my point? <laughs> I can't gone. believe he's dastardly devils done it again. Lukaku hasn't scored for United in the big game, mm. but he hasn't done anything in the big game either. Like he hasn't influenced play, he just Two hasn't gotten for City. <laughs> that's Oh, that's really funny. I saw that. That's really funny. I saw that on the um, Twitter the comp. So. Was it for me? It was for me. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this up Manchester. after getting your predictions. You know Josh, Josh Keane's gonna come back to bottom four one man you. Josh Keane's gonna score a late consolation. Okay, I thought two you were one gonna, two one you know. I'm gonna go three one United. Uh, you know they're gonna concede first, but be a bit. But they'll come back. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. If you can stay to the end, you're a fucking trooper because that was just. If you well, stay to the end, you was. obviously like comedy and punditry. So that's what. Uh, I'm handsome, guys. Thanks for, thanks for joining. See you tomorrow. <laughs>